What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a parallax on WordPress using Elementor. Now let me go ahead and minimize my screen here. So this isn't any special new way of doing it. Um, you're basically just creating a parallax within Elementor. Uh, if, you, if you already know how to do that then this video probably isn't for you. Um, I am trying to find if I'm trying to figure out a new way on on how to do it, um, but it seems like this way is the most effective way to uh, create a parallax on Elementor. So anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just um, go ahead and uh, start your page here, and then click on Edit with Elementor, and go ahead and edit that page with Elementor. In case you're kind of new to, to Elementor and you don't know how to get to that um, part, let me just show you how to do that real quick. So once you have um, Elementor installed, um, and just all you're going to do is basically create a page, um, and then just click with, and then on top you'll probably see Edit with Elementor, and that's it. And then just uh, head over, head over to your page. Okay. So as you can tell right now, we don't really have a parallax going on, right? So we want to make sure our first image is a parallax. So let's go ahead and actually add a background image to this and make that into a parallax. So um, click your section up here and then head over to style and then um, make sure you select normal and make sure you select the classic here and then just go ahead and um, upload your uh, background picture. And I do have a couple pictures I want to try here. And I'm just gonna get them on here real quick, just because I'm a big fan of space. So I thought I would get some cool pictures of space. Um, and I'm probably gonna choose these are really high definition images, so they're probably some of them might take a little bit long to load. This one looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and let's see what this one is. Might do this one. Yeah, let's do this one first, definitely. Okay. So as you can tell, it's not really set up yet. So what you're going to do is um, first thing you're going to want to center this probably to where you want to have it or you can go ahead here, go ahead and click custom and then you can move it to where you want it. Maybe I'm going to move it to about right there. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, and then what I'm going to do is is uh, on the on the attachment you're going you're going to want to click scroll. So the moment you click scroll, sorry not scroll, I mean um fixed. Um, so once you click fixed, you're going to notice that now we have that parallax effect, right? Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and um, make this white. And I'm going to make this uh, also this subtitle white as well, just so then it goes with the website, right? I mean, you can't really, you can't really see that either. Um, and I'm going to go and make the description white as well. So, and this probably doesn't really go with that, so... But the color, the colors actually do match it, so it's actually pretty cool there, right? Um, so that's how that would be set up, and then let's go ahead and do another page. Let's do this one as well. You know what? No, actually, let's do this one, just because we kind of want that. Um, we don't want the entire thing to just be a parallax. I know that some people like to do the entire thing, but um, I like to have some things in between. So let's go ahead and do this one. Let's go ahead and click on the section. Go to style. Go into um. Go into the, the background, let's select an image. Let's go ahead and use this one here. And let's remove this background again. Let's maybe switch it over here. And then let's just let's just make this white really quick. I'm sure you guys are probably have something different on your screen, but um let me just do this really fast just so then it looks good. Let me just get the title going and we're set. Okay, so now let's just focus on this background again. Okay, so um, let's kind of set this up where we want to. So I'm going to click custom and I'm just going to move this around where I think it looks good. Probably a little down. Yeah, there we go. That looks cool. And then on the, on the attachment, I'm going to click uh, fixed. And then you can also click cover, but um, that also works as well just to kind of make it a little bit bigger. Um, which I would probably I'd probably suggest doing the same thing on here. Let's actually move this over um, And let's do cover instead and probably make it a little bit bigger now You will notice that it does it does there is a repeat it, it is repeating right? 
Um, so basically what you would do if it's repeating like that, um, you would go ahead and go to default, go to no repeat, right? And then we're just gonna move this, we're just gonna move this down, the position down to where we want it to fit. It'd probably be more like this, just so we give it some space to scroll to. There we go. So you see that? And that's set up as well. And we're gonna put no repeat here too. And you're gonna see how like it's a little bit weird, right? So what's going on here when you click no repeat? I mean, for this one you can because it kind of looks very similar. Basically, you're just gonna want to move this over over here. Basically, I would have this at zero to be quite honest, and then I would just move this down where you want it, and then there you go. So there is an issue here with this. Basically, we probably need to remove this. And it's turning right there. So let's go ahead and try to fix that here. There we go. So now we got the entire thing to fit really good. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with our um, our team page. And let's put, you're not really gonna be able to see the astronaut. So let's go ahead and do this one here. And you know what, I'm just gonna, this time I'm just gonna do um, no repeat, I'm gonna do cover, and then I'm gonna do fixed, instead of having the positioning, just, just to make it easier on me. So let me move this this way. Let me go ahead and change this title to, um, sorry, let me go with, sorry, I meant I'll customize the style of this title to white, just so then it goes. And then finally, let's go ahead and just add the astronaut right here. I think I'm gonna actually add it. Probably gonna have to expand this section, but I'm just I'm just gonna add it in here. Just because I think the astronaut's pretty cool. So go ahead and click this, add the astronaut in here, move this up a bit. And then I'm just gonna do cover, no repeat, fixed. And let's maybe, let's go ahead and grab some spacing in here. Let's grab a little spacer. Let's just move this up right here. All right, looks pretty cool here. Now let's go ahead and view our website. All right, and as you can tell, we have that um, parallax effect now. Same thing over here, and same thing here. So that's all set up. Um, but if you're wondering why that was showing up, actually it's because I am running a local host and that's uh, this, the software that I'm using. Uh, if you guys do want me to make a video on creating a local host uh, for your WordPress website and just showing you how to do that, um, just let me know down in the comments. Um, I'll go ahead and do that guys. I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this um, this video. Um, I am gonna try to find out other ways to make parallaxes. I know that parallaxes are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.